Hi, good morning, everybody. Uh, it's really great uh, that you all have come from such long distances uh, to share your experiences uh, from which, you know, all of us can learn. Uh, I'm sorry that I'm not able to join you in person, uh, but I would like uh, to welcome you all uh, to this uh, conference organized by AID and CSA. And it's really great uh, to have uh, so many people here who have worked with the marginalized uh, and the oppressed communities uh, and who have done that for a long time. Uh, and many of you are very well known to us and, uh, and, and it's really good to be with you. I wanted to share a little bit about uh, the US part of aid uh, because I'm sure that uh, the work that's going on in India and the challenges in India will be uh, discussed thoroughly in all the panel discussions. So at the US end, uh, you know, what aid has been trying to do is not only provide uh, some uh, sort of support uh, to several movements and uh, NGOs and community service organizations in India, but also that support has included uh, the human resource support. So aid brings the strength of its volunteers to engage uh, with all of you and with, uh, with the work directly at the village level in India. Through that journey, we've had some people who have just returned to India like Balaji Sampath, who is there, Kiran Visa, Naveen, Kamaini, and others, uh, Kartik, Om Damani. Some of them are working full-time, uh, Sri Hari. Some of them are working full-time for the causes. Some of them are working, uh, you know, doing other work like Om, uh, and then uh, devoting part of the time to the causes. So, so that's uh, some, and, and people have gotten interested in this because they have worked very closely with all of you. Even today, AID has volunteers like that. There's a new generation of volunteers in AID. Bikash, uh, who is there at the conference, or Preeti, who is there, uh, uh, who has been in touch with you all. These are the new generation of volunteers here. And we are hoping that uh, the engagement between the new generation of volunteers and the, and the community sector based organizations in India and activists and big activists like all of you continues uh, because I think that is the most important link. We want people like Bikash and Preeti to be like the Nagas and Kirans of aid. Uh, and, and so, uh, uh, and so uh, you know, and that's my first request to everybody who is gathered here. I know I'm not going to take any names because I might miss out some but I know it is at your, uh, you know, it is with you all that all of us have learned, uh, you know, and have, have, have learned and have tried to uh, add our little voice to the larger voice that you all have, have brought forward. And I hope that, uh, you know, that tradition continues uh, with the engagement of the newer volunteers of aid and with all of you. Uh, that's, uh, you know, one of the things that I wanted to say. The other thing, uh, you know, that Aid US uh, is trying to do is that it is one of the, uh, you know, most uh, important organizations in the non-resident Indian community in the US, which directly connects with all the progressive movements and with all the struggles and, uh, and is really at the cutting edge of whether it is the work on agriculture or work on education, work on farmers or tribal rights, the kind of uh, you know, partners with whom we are working with uh, and the kind of partnerships, we have, collaborations we have striked, that kind of puts aid US, of course, like all of you are on the cutting edge in India, but for a US based organization, uh, it is that kind of collaboration that puts us in the cutting edge. And we have the pulse of community uh, in India. I mean, if the farmers are, uh, if there's a crop failure or a bumper harvest in India because of which farmers are losing price, or the agriculture budget comes out, we are sure that people like Kiran and Raman Janailu, whatever you know, work that they are doing with all of you is something that's reflected in the volunteers of aid. Uh, similarly, the work on education, health, and various other fields. Uh, so aid is a progressive organization. One of the things that is missing in the US is the voice of more progressive groups and also the voice of progressive groups in the younger generation in the US. So one of the focuses of aid, uh, you know, since last year has been young aiders, which basically means to involve high school students or young people uh, in progressive, in the progressive agenda, whether it's environmental agenda, Ambedkarji's agenda, Gandhiji's agenda, 
or Medha Patkar and Ajay Kumar, Chennai Garu's agenda. Like it is to involve, uh, you know, aid in the progressive movements of India. Uh, I mean, it is to involve the younger uh, generation in the US. So we are working with high school children. We are working with undergraduates and we are hoping to increase that that work. So right now there is a good unit working with high school children in Seattle, uh, in DC metro area, in Bay area, and we hope in more uh, places also that kind of work grows. Uh, uh, and, and and I think you might find in future some of the children in aid contacting you. Maybe it's already happening to some extent. Uh, and maybe we can think together on how we can help, uh, you know, uh, help come up with uh, things that would inspire inspire children here to learn stories from India. Uh, you know, stories of these movements and what part they could play in those progressive changes. And it's important to reflect that in the NRA community in the US. So that's the other thing that aid is, uh, you know, aid is working on. Lastly, I want to say that another place where we could collaborate and help is several of our well-wishers and volunteers visit India and it would be good to uh, see how long some of them can spend with you all uh, you know like i know that many partners already are hosting volunteers of aid maybe we can do that in a more organized way so that some of the big supporters of aid can also be in it may, may make it easier for them to come and visit villages because that's one of the things we find really connects a person here with the cause is when they visit a village or they visit an activist who is really working in India and see the work hands-on and hear hands-on experiences. Uh, lastly, uh, one of the things I'm currently doing is working on a few books, uh, or first one right now, and uh, uh, and I hope the second and third would be on more important things than the first one. Uh, but, uh, but what I'm thinking is that there are many of you here uh, you know, who have journeyed through India's movements in various places, you know, since the 1960s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. I mean, uh, there are many of you who know those stories and these stories would be lost, uh, you know, for the NGO sector in India, as well as uh, for aid volunteers in the US uh, and much larger than that for the, you know, when I'm thinking of uh, Daniel Masgaonkar here, for example, uh, you know who uh, uh, and Anand I'm, I'm sure is there um, and Ayesha ji uh, so many of you uh, you know you have worked with uh, so many communities uh, and uh, uh, and you know so many movements and I'm wondering whether some of you can maybe contribute to some kind of an ongoing newsletter or a publication that brings out stories from uh, you know from the field in India uh, or even some of you may want to write a book uh, like Ajay Kumar is trying to document by making some videos. Uh, uh, so a book or a video documentation. But I think uh, it is important to preserve the knowledge that has been gained and the experience that has been gained over the years. I mean, it's not only Gandhiji's story or Ambedkar's story uh, or JP movement story, uh, you know, that uh, that we should have access to because they have been well documented, but we need stories of today's movements in different locations and the history of those struggles. Uh, and I'm wondering if that's something you all could discuss this time at the conference. And it would be great if, you know, such a documentation, uh, either as a newsletter to which you contribute articles that aid volunteers can help try to coordinate, or as a book that you yourself write, which we can also try to help out with. Uh, or, or any of the formats or just like one publication that brings out all the volume, all the NGO and the movement stories together. All right, have a great conference. I don't want to take too much time. Naga asked me to request this. I don't know why to make this. I actually didn't want to uh, take any of your time. Uh, and uh, I'll be back in India in mid-January. Uh, so hope to see you all then. Bye.